Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you how to use Midjourney to generate a collection of images with a similar style. This feature is useful when you need a consistent set of illustration or icons. And here you can see the result of the images generated using Midjourney. As you can see, the style is similar, but not the same. For our tutorial, I will generate a collection of three illustrations that represent different cuisines – American, Japanese and Italian. And the first thing that we need to do is to generate initial image, the one that will be used as a reference for all other images. We will do it by writing a simple prompt in Midjourney bot. I will type imagine. These are additional parameters that I provide along with the prompt to specify what kind of the illustration I want to create. And this is basically our initial prompt. So let's submit it. Now I need to choose the image that I want to use as a reference. I will choose the second one. Let's upscale it. All right, the next thing that we need to do is to find the seed number of this image. Seed number is a random number assigned to the results of generation, and it is used as a reference for this visual. The Midjourney will be used some visual properties from these images when we provide the seed number. It's possible to get it by doing a simple operation. We need to click Add Reaction, then type Envelope and click the emoji. So, as you can see, it provides a job number, job ID, and the seat number. What we can do next is we can copy-paste our prompt that we provided before and change two things in it. First, we need to change the type of the cuisine. This time I will generate the Japanese cuisine, so it will be sushi. And then I will also need to provide a seat number. So, this is the parameter specifying the seat. Let's submit it. Let's choose the second one, upscale the second image. All right, looks good. And the last thing is that we can generate the Italian cuisine, the illustration for Italian cuisine. Imagine, this time we'll, we'll change only one variable. And this is it. Let's upscale number four. All right, now we generated a collection of three illustrations for different kind of cuisine. And this is Italian, this is Japanese, and this is American. As you can see, the style is similar, but not the same. And that's true for Midjourney. This is one of the downsides of this approach. But still, you can play with the properties like colors and shadows and generate the really interesting illustrations for your project. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.